filtering filtering oh, yeah. uh, jewelry websites apparel websites attributes and all you have to make you know a lot of clients they don't set up uh we just set we just started a, a site it's a cigar company and um we had to pull all the products from various other sites okay and it sucked because some sites had the attributes some didn't so it's like going back you know, I told the client, you're gonna have to go back now because you want to, you know, we don't know these cigars and all the things that you need. So you got to go and really put the attributes to each right. one because that's how it's really going to be improved. Cause there was a few really nice cigar sites, but the key thing was the attributes. Sure. So if you're yeah, for a certain cigar. You, right. Of course. Yeah. And it's something, you you know, co coffee too, believe it or not. Coffee is a big one. Uh, the, the, yeah. the type of grind. Uh, you got a coffee, coffee website? I, I've I've had, I get a few of them, yeah, yeah. I did I did one a long time ago as a as a roaster or something. It was like fifteen years ago, but it was uh, I forgot the name of it. It had like these pods, like before the pods were a thing, but they were like in a uh, it was an actual hole. It was like Tespo or something, but it was a hole. Um, it wasn't like plastic. It was all done in um, I don't know what you call it. Not not plastic. It was like all like echo friendly and stuff so I you say. put the pot yeah it was, it was its own little coffee maker and stuff cool. i said i gotta look it up it's a good one though uh anyway fi filtering is vital and it you know it's 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 a conversation you got to have with customers in terms of you know there, there's there's a saying when we do data imports right because obviously you know when you're talking to somebody about developing an e-commerce website if you're talking thousands of products you're not going to manually enter those you know, you're going to, you're going to be there for decades doing that. So you want to do a bulk import, right? And then the term, the term that comes into play there is garbage in, garbage out, you know? You would, it, so, so which tool do you use for that? Either be a, either by script or plugin. Yeah, I think, um, there's, there's a plugin from, from Woo. Um, the, I do WP all export. That's a w, great WP all export. Is that, is that the one you use? I'm, I'm trying to think the one we use. There's there's a few for WooCommerce, but that one um has always been a classic but for that's, me. No, but that's that's the easy part though. The hard part is actually making sure all the data is properly classified and entered. Well, so, so what happens is let's say you, you don't have everything you need, you export it from WP all export all database tables. So you uh -huh. get the actual file needed and then you hand that to the customer, you highlight sure. the comp. Yeah, yeah. Freeze things out this way. Right, right, right. Yeah. Without yeah, without a doubt. But I'm saying, you know. It, it all it over revolves back into explaining to customers, hey, you know, you want you want people to be able to find what they're actually looking for, and this is what it takes to get there, kind of thing.